slide over and it highlights, that's what the particular code is for. So since we're over here, we know it's in, in there because it went uh, kind of dark. And we can open the body up here. As we scroll down and go over each different little part, we're going to find out which one. So it's right here in this part because when we're scrolled over it, it goes dark over here. So this class uh, div tag. And then as we scroll down, we know it's in here. And then we know it's in here because every time it goes dark, we know that's where it is. So here's the different articles. So that appears to be the article above it. That's the article we want. We're going to open that up because we're just trying to get to that element that has the picture in it, which is right here. So once we get here, we're going to right click. We're going to say copy. We're going to copy that element. I'm going to come down in this. Uh, I just have a, a text editor open. We're going to paste that element in the text editor. Because this right here is the link. This links to the blog post, the second link. That's not the one we want. We want this first link that ends in J, JPEG, JPG. So we're going to copy this link. We don't need the question mark. We just need the rest of it. So we go ahead and copy this link all the way to the HTTPS. Go ahead and copy that. Now if we paste that into another tab, watch what happens. We get the image all by itself. Now we can say save image as. So we're going to save this image. Um, I don't care where you save it. I've been saving them. I have a folder here. You can send me these afterwards. And I already named, I already put the name in here. So we're going to name it the same name as that blog post. So um, let's see the blog post. The blog post is named Preventative Dental Care for a Healthier Smile. But I like to use camel case. I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm saving it here. And then I'm going to put the, the name of the blog post in here. But um, let's just... So we would type that out and it would come out like this. Preventative dental care for a healthier smile.jpg. We'd hit save. It's only asking me to replace because I already had done this once when I'm doing this for the video. But that's nice because it gives us the name. So now we have this image saved from here. So what we do now is we go in to our um, posts here and we're going to add a new post. We're going to name the post Preventative Dental Care for a healthy healthier smile. So I like to use title caps so basically the big words are going to be capitalized and the little words you don't. Um, if you have any questions on that, just let me know, but just do your best, I guess. Um, so we made that post. Um, and then we're going to put in the, uh, the actual post itself. So we're going to copy the text from the post. I guess it wants to grab that image too, so we'll take care of that after we put it in. So we copied the post and we pasted it here. Um, and then what we want to do is we want this first uh, this first title here. We want to make sure that's a heading one, not paragraph heading one. And then we'll make the second one a heading two, and this third one can be a heading three h3 so we'll just leave that and then problem is when it has links in there they're going to be wrong so we don't need this picture because our the way we do it it's going to show up as the featured image so we can go ahead and delete that um we can set our featured image so the image that we just copied we're going to find it so 
I'm going to select files, navigate to where we saved it. And I'm going to put that in. Now, every time we put in an image, we want to make sure that we also put in an alt tag. So this alt text here. So this one is we can just we, we just want it to be something. So we can say healthy smiles in holiday Utah. You can say add dentist in holiday Utah. Just something that goes along with dentistry and what the blog post is about is good for the alt tag. As long as we have something in there related. Because some some the the uh, web crawlers can't read images; they just are going to see that text, and it also come up for people that have uh, visibility impairments. So schedule. We want this to be a heading three. I don't know why it changed. What? We just want this line to be a heading three. Don't know why it's doing that. Let's uh, let's delete that. Schedule an appointment There you go. I don't know why I wouldn't do that before. So um <clears throat> we gotta make sure these links are right. So we don't these links are gonna be from the old website, they're not gonna be correct. So we gotta go in here, click on the link, edit it, and then we also have a link to preventative care. So preventative I thought we did um, on the new website. You can have the new website up to check things. So the the address for it is holiday dental holiday dental excellence dot dental practice website dot com will take us to the website, or you can just go like this. You can go up here and uh, right click here and open in a new tab. And that way you'll be able to see the current site. So uh, we don't have a preventative per se. So let's just take them to general dentistry. General dentistry. And we got to make sure you hit the apply button. It won't work. All right. They also have this link, which looks like you got the text here. Run together. So we got to put a space in here. We can take this to Val's page. So, blood low. I don't know if he has a page. Um, team. Let's see. Now let's just take him to the team page because he's right on there. So we'll go to our team and then it's always going to think the holidays misspelled because it's the name of a city and it's similar to the name of uh, a word called a word in English that's for like Christmas or different holidays. So we're going to change this to request appointment. Request appointment. So that's edited. And now we're going to make sure we add some um, some categories. So this particular blog is about preventative care. So let's let's make a, a category for preventative care. Dental care. And then we're also going to add in um, let's say dental habits, dental services, oral health. And then for tags, we can see the tags we've already done. Um, you can say smile improvements, dental experience. 
and uh, let's say um, healthy smile. We'll add that in. So there, we just got to get some tags in there. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and say publish. Now, after we publish, we want to go back to the post page and make sure our author is correct and our date is correct. So our date on this post, we want it to match on the previous website. We want to match as much as possible. So this one was on November 30th. That would have been last year. So we'll go to quick edit. We'll change this to November. 30th 2017 I don't really care what time we'll change the author to holiday dental excellence I already set that up I'm gonna go ahead and hit update now I believe that should also update the slug with the new date yeah so it updates the link so the link would be similar to the old link um, go ahead and hit update and now we can go to the website, go to the blog, and we can see our post, which was this one. So this is the post by Holiday Dental Excellence, November 30th, 2017. And when we click on it, we want to just check and see how it looks. So brings up the picture. It's got our links changed. Um, this text looks different. I don't know why. It's probably bolded or something. So that's paragraph. Hmm. I don't really know why that text is different. <clears throat> it doesn't look too horrible. Like a different size. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe it's a different size. Size. Paragraph. Anyone know where the text size is? I guess we can go in here and see. Um, Uh, I'm trying to see why this is a hmm. I don't really know why that's a different size, but I guess we can just leave it unless the person that Unless you figure out what that problem is, because I, I'm at a loss. Let's see if it did on any of the other ones. So, one is it earlier? Hmm. All right. Well, don't worry about stuff like that for now. I guess cause we just gotta get these over here. Almost like the other stuff's list text. 